Howdy doody, my name is Cameron, or better known as Venus Theory. This is the official UVI YouTube channel, and you look like you've done something with your hair. I like it. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the new Urcam Prepared Piano 2 soundware from UVI. Urcam Prepared Piano 2 is an extremely unique piano sound library focused on exotic preparation techniques played on a pristine sounding Japanese C7 grand piano recorded at the legendary Urcam Labs. With 45 different preparations, there's an immense sonic palette available, creating a playground of unique and unconventional piano tones. Urcam Prepared Piano 2 is an updated library bringing with it numerous feature enhancements and quality of life updates, including a brand new effects section, the new Rain ARP, and workflow and usability improvements with the brand new user interface along with a bunch of new presets. The new interface is really comprehensive, but actually not all that difficult to understand, and it's broken up into four tabs. First, we have the main tab, which might look intimidating at first, but it's actually really easy to understand. On the main tab here, we have the sound editor, where we could choose a preparation over to the right with the preparations menu, and there are a ton to choose from. But what's really fun is mixing and matching these and making your own, because we can edit this all on a per key basis for the entire piano. So each key has a preparation technique, a volume control, and a tuning control, and then in the second row, we can actually layer two different preparations per key. Let's bring in something like the eraser on the lower row here. Now let's change out the top row. Neat. Using the menu to the right as well, it's worth mentioning that you can also initialize things, randomize, copy, or paste the settings, making editing the entire keyboard easy, and it's a lot of fun to randomize everything to get a totally different, unique palette in just a couple clicks. And there's a ton to explore. Below the sound editor, we have the octave section where you can edit each individual octave. And because this is all set on a per key basis, this allows you to create some really unique key split or even multi timbral setups. Down at the bottom, we have the octave linking where we can link the settings of the octave or link the settings of all keys. And we also have a MIDI highlight feature, which we can use to highlight the currently played note with MIDI. The bar hits down in the lower left is actually with this other key group down here in a blue. And we can use this menu to select between a couple different sounds for bar hits. In the edit section, we have a couple of additional controls to refine the overall sound of the piano. We have the release volume and resonance volume and the tone knob, which is kind of like a timbral control. We could use this to brighten up the sound or darken the sound, kind of mellow it out. And that can be really useful to experiment with with certain preparation techniques. Below that, we have the microphones, which we have two different microphone groups, each with an individual level control. And you can enable or disable the microphone group with the toggle above the level. The amp envelope of Urcam Prepared Piano 2 is actually pretty unique because it's a separate envelope for different preparation techniques. So we have bow, Ebo and mutes. Each of these can be individually adjusted, which can be really useful if you're combining multiple preparations in the main tab. Here, I've just got a bowed preparation ready. And we could use this to up the attack, create sort of a droning pad-like sound, or we could use it to create almost a sort of pluck using the bow. Below the amp envelope editor are the dynamics controls. Here we can adjust the overall dynamic range as well as the velocity curve. And again, this is really useful depending on the preparation technique used just to refine how it feels to play. So this is worth experimenting with to find the right performance feel for your version of the piano. The effects section offers quite a few effects to add the finishing touch to your sound. So working through here, we have the frequency shifter, a diode clipping distortion, an EQ, a spark verb, a delay, and a convolver, which is all fed into the maximizer. Each of these effects can be toggled by clicking the effect name, and you'll find the controls for each effect located under the respective label. The ARP tab actually contains two different arpeggiators, and to enable it, we'll need to hit the power button next to the ARP tab here. There are a variety of presets to get you started, and all the general controls for the UVI standard ARP are present here. So we have different arpeggiator modes like arpeggiator and phraser, velocity note editing, linking the mode of each step, and individual step controls for pitch, octave, gate, and panning, as well as the speed, number of steps, and the octave range. The rain ARP here, I think, is where things really get interesting with this library, though, because the rain 
Green ARP is a really unique arpeggiator. It works on a per note basis with each of these cells representing a velocity for the step of notes in that row. We can clear or randomize this. There are a variety of presets available for each of these rows. You can adjust or randomize the speed and adjust or randomize the velocity multiplier with the X representing a clear all function. So let's hold down just a big spicy C minor seven chord here. And I think you hear what that does. It's really fun and it's a really cool way to create these sort of mosaics of notes and is especially fun when combining different preparation techniques. As you could probably guess, Urcam Prepared Piano 2 offers just way too many sounds to reasonably cover in this video. So instead, I just wanna quickly run you through some of my favorite presets. And that is a look at Urcam Prepared Piano 2 from UVI. It's available now either as a standalone product or as part of UVI's Sonic Pass subscription service. It runs inside of the free UVI workstation and of course can be run inside of Falcon as well if you want even more control over an already obnoxious amount of sounds. With that, a huge thank you as always to UVI for having me here on the channel and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something, and as always, I hope this inspires you to get out there and make something awesome.